hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if i joined the channel for the very first time my name is onomi and this is onomi senpai if i return subscriber thank you so much you guys are amazing so today i want to make a laundry bar soap this soap cleans it's foamy and it's super super good make sure you watch this video to the end guys i love you So guys, welcome to another DIY episode with Ono Miss Empire. Today I want to make a laundry bar So In this month's episode, we are making laundry products and we can't afford not to add a laundry bar soap to it. So the first oil I want to use, I want to use combination of palm kernel oil and coconut oil. So I'm adding coconut oil to this particular recipe to help our soap really, really lather so well we all know palm kernel oil has good properties and coconut oil also has so many properties which is very very good for our bath soap now i know coconut oil is expensive but i decided to use it for this recipe because i want this particular uh, laundry soap to contain a little bit of fat if you have tallow you can add to this now the next thing that i want to use is a lye you all know lye which is also called sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. So this is one of the main ingredients for this particular formulation. Lye is a cleaning agent. This lowers the acidity and also regulates water's pH. It also aids the bleaching product of fabrics and also adds as an oxidizing agent. Here I agent. measured out my water and I added my lye to my water. Please do not add water to lye. Always add lye to water. Always add any of your chemicals to water, not the other way around. And also put on your hand gloves and also your protective gadget when you are dissolving your lye or your caustic soda is very very important and make sure you do this in a very airy environment so i want to quickly stir this so that this thing could dissolve very fast or you can just stir a little and leave your so as you can see it has already dissolved because i kept on stirring for long so that it can dissolve completely now on this particular formulation this is a semi hot process laundry soap i've already heated up my oil a little bit so that we could have the oil and the light solution at the same temperature please take note of that now before we proceed i actually used 200 ml of my coconut oil and 450 ml of my palm kernel oil before you ask me so note so you can use 50 50 percent or you can actually do yours or 40 to 60 percent depends on how it is because i know coconut oil is very expensive in this season guys so i've heated up my oil i want to add my color i'm using green color for this formulation you can use any color of choice so i added green to this formulation and i'm going to add my sodium silicate this will act as a moisturizing agent so that this soap will be very very super you know moisturizing to not be too drying and i'm adding in my fragrance I added 10 ml of my fragrance if your fragrance is not too strong you can add up to 15 to 20 ml but my fragrance is very very strong your dogo fragrance so i'm using a little bit of it so guys, I'm stirring this so that everything will combine completely before we go into the next phase of our soap making procedure. Now this is our lye solution. Our lye is already dissolved and I want to add this into my oils. Make sure you add your lye face to your oil face. After adding this, you notice, please keep on stirring well till you get what we call a trace now when oil and water and also lye mix together we can get what we call a saponification process which will help us create an emotion which is called a trace so a trace should look like something buttery you are going to see how it is before you can pour it into your soap mold make sure everything has mixed very well now i decide to use my blender in this particular uh, because I don't have time. I'm a very busy person, so I need to do this. So, fast guys, make sure when you are blending these, don't blend too fast. Just blend a little bit and stop so that you not 
encounter what we call very thick trace so you blend a little bit when you see that everything has combined completely like this then you could add it into your soap mode right now i've gotten a very thick trace because i had to do some <laughs> videos with this particular soap that is why so now this is our soap mode you can see our soap mode i decided to use this particular one because it's really really bigger so that i can contain everything so any soap mode you have if you don't have a soap mode i've always said it that one should not be a hindrance for you not to make this soap you should get a plate everyone has a plate at home you know all these takeaway plates you can use that to pack put in your soap just something that will take the shape of your soap so that you can use it effectively and you can make this at home and you can also make this for sale trust me this particular recipe is the banger and it will ladder like no man's business i gave this soap out after making it and trust me everybody loved it the fragrance was top notch the lather was top notch and it really really cleans so well now you can see our soap has already uh thickened before i started adding it because I was so guys if you watch the videos to this point in time please like this video share this video to your friends and family support onomi's empire we make skincare hair care lip care and sanitary products on this channel we also sell skincare products in wholesale we have rebranding deals good good prices for as many as possible if you are anywhere all over the world we can ship to you and we also make good deep care products please patronize us chat me up guys chat me up let's do business <laughs> let's do business guys so after pouring my soap into the soap mode i'm just trying to adjust it and i'm going to leave this for um, i think i left this for about eight hours and i came back my soap has already added but if you want your soap to be really really hard you can actually add a little bit of salt to it to help your soap harden you know some people like soap that is very hard so that it won't wash off quickly but do not add too much guys if you want to see other soap videos i have a lot of bath soap videos on my channel both the one for skin go and check that video but this is for laundry my husband said this soap looks like a king soap those days who remember a king soap oh the gen z buddies will not know that <laughs> that soap is old school guys and it's very very good guys after some i think some hours i just need to unmold my soap and this is so beautiful guys beautiful do you love the green if you love it type green in the comment section green say green in the comment section guys let me know that you are following me you're subscribing and you love my channel so we are just going to cut this soap into uh smaller pieces so i can leave it to cure so please make sure you always leave your soap to cure for two to three weeks before you can start using it. Do not use or sell soap right away. You have to leave it to cure, guys. Now I'm cutting my soap into smaller pieces. Guys, please subscribe to my channel. So many people are just watching my videos for free without subscribing. Guys, support me now. Support me. Show me some love, guys. Thank you so much for all those people that have been here from day one. I know you, <laughs> truly. I see you. I see your likes. I see your comments. God bless you so much. Now look at the end product of our soap. It's so beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> Green looks like a, my best color right now. But you can see how beautiful this soap is. This soap is really, really amazing. And trust me, it laddered so well. <laughs> I'm going to do a ladder test for you to see. This is really, really beautiful. And it looks so, so good, guys. I'm just taking a lot of pictures and videos on this so that I can post it on other platform please follow me on instagram onomi empire cosmetics on tiktok onomi empire cosmetic guys also on facebook guys follow me patronize me guys patronize me now you can make this at home if you want to make this please try this recipe and give me feedback in the comment section so this is how this soup this soup laddered so much and it has a creamy consistency because of the coconut oil we added 
to this. You can see now. Look at how beautiful this is. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Bye.